In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble your new Craftsman 40-inch plug aerator. Warning, the aerator knives are extremely sharp. Exercise caution at all times when assembling and using the aerator. Assemble an aerator knife, part 8, on the outside of a double spool assembly, part 11, by rotating the knife to insert the locking tab into the spool plate. Then secure it with a 5 16 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt, part U, and a 5 16 inch nylock nut, part J. Repeat the process to complete the two double spool assemblies. Now, assemble an aerator knife on the outside of a single spool assembly, part 9. Then secure it with a 5 16 by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt, part U, and a 5 16 inch nylock nut, part J. Next, repeat the process to complete two single spool assemblies. Now, press a split plastic bearing part W into both ends of all the single and double spool assemblies. Now identify the shorter end of the shaft. Then slide on a wheel bracket part 2 as shown. Next, fully secure it with a quarter inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolt part B and a quarter inch nylock nut, part K. Now, slide on a thick washer, part O. Then slide on a one inch spacer, part R. As always, handle the blades carefully as the aerator knives are sharp. Next, slide on a single spool assembly. Then slide on a 1.33 inch spacer, part S. Next, slide on a double spool assembly. Then slide on a 1.33 inch spacer, part S. And then slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part N. Now, slide on a 1 inch spacer, part R, onto the long end of the shaft. Then slide the middle brace, part 3, with the bent end facing the wheel bracket. Now, slide on a 3.7 inch spacer, part Q. Then carefully slide on the single spool assembly. Next, slide on a 1.33 inch spacer, part S. Then carefully slide on a double spool assembly. Now slide on a 1.33 inch spacer, part S. And then slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part N. Next, assemble an end plate, part 6, to the tray, part 1, using two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex bolts, part E, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part J, per corner. Do not tighten until instructed. Then repeat for the other side. Do not tighten until instructed. Now fully secure the tongue, part 5, to the tray using 2 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part D, and 2 3 8 inch nylock nuts, part I. Next, assemble 4 3 8 inch by 1 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts, part C, and 4 3 8 inch Wislock nuts, part P. Then slide them through the front and rear holes in the tongue through the tray. Now fully secure them below with 4 3 8 inch nylock nuts, part I. Next, turn the tray upside down. Then stand behind the tray and slide the long end of the shaft through the plate on your right. Now slide the other end of the shaft through the plate on your left. Ensure the bent end of the middle brace rests flat inside the tongue. Make sure the end plate on your left is perpendicular to the tray and tighten the nuts and bolts that attach the end plate to the tray. Then slide a 3 quarter inch flat washer onto the shaft. Next, slide on a wheel bracket, aligning them as shown. If there's not enough room for the wheel bracket, leave off the 3 quarter inch washer. Now fully secure it with a quarter inch by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolt part B and 1 quarter inch nylock nut part K. Now repeat for the other side. Then slide a half inch washer part T onto a half inch by three and a quarter inch hex bolt part A. Now slide it through a wheel part 12. Then slide on another half inch washer part T. Next, thread on a half inch jam nut part L. 
Now slide the assembly through the wheel bracket. Then thread on a half inch nylock jam nut, part H. Next, secure the wheel. Adjust it so that there is minimal end play but the wheel still spins freely. Now repeat for the other side. Next, secure the wheel. Adjust it so that there is minimal end play but the wheel still spins freely. Then place the aerator on its wheels. Next, fully secure the hitch bracket part 4 using 2 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts part D and 2 3 8 inch nylock nuts part I. Now slide in the hitch pin part G and secure it with the large hairpin cotter part F. Then tip the aerator back. Ensure the bent end of the middle brace is resting flat inside the tongue. Then loosely secure it with 2 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts part D and 2 3 8 inch nylock nuts part I. Do not tighten it until instructed. Next, align the lift handle. Then insert 2 3 8 by 1 and 1 quarter inch hex bolts part C through the lift handle and the wheel bracket. Then slide on a shoulder spacer part M onto the upper bolt. Now fully secure the assembly with 2 3 8 inch nylock hex nuts part I. Then push the grip part V onto the lift handle. Next turn the aerator upright. Now place the lift handle into the transport position at the front of the slot. Now tighten the four bolts at the left corner of the tray. Then, tighten the two bolts fastening the middle brace to the tray. Then tighten the rest of the hardware. 